have to let him know. Are know. they going in? Are they, no, okay, they're not going in. Okay, okay I'm still excited for this match. I don't know how this will go. Or, okay, I'm going to put my money on Mojo. Right. Easily. Understandable. I think JF's taking sets, though. I would not know. I, I mean, I know kind of who the big names of Texas are. I don't necessarily know how they do against each other. Yeah, uh, Mojo's pretty much... Mojo's pretty dominant. Uh, not really... Okay, not dominant, but like... He's one of the most dominant names in Texas. Let's put right. it that way. Yes, I understand that. Yeah. He was my round one opponent of Arlo 3. Oh, I'm I, so sorry. I felt the... Um, when people say that Fox beats Falcon, you know, you can argue it at low to mid levels. It's, it can kind of oh, go either so, way. It can go so either way. But you know what? When I played Mojo's Fox, I was like, okay, Fox beats Falcon. Yeah, no. Uh, him and Frizz, they're both really good at like the running there into like up tilt. That's like what makes Foxes good at this matchup, finding up tilts. Right. Like, or not this matchup, the Falcon matchup. And it, like, it works. You look for it in this matchup as well, like the up tilts, but. It's so brutal. So when it comes to uh, Fox Sheik, and you know, I, I'm like, I have like kind of a uh, secondary Fox. It's, it's not really technical, it's okay, but it's not really quite there. I feel like for this matchup, you kind of have to have at least a simple understanding of like your bread and butter tech skill. You have to get the, the wave shine grab, you have yes. to get wave shine up smash, yes. you know. And, you know, obviously for Mojo, that's no problem. But just in the matchup in general, I feel like that kind of technical stuff is, is bread and butter. You need it for Sheik. Yeah, um, pretty much it's like, Fox, he needs to be able to convert a lot off of his Shine. Uh, shine gives so many good openings. Without right. Shine, uh, it's kind of... Fox can still do mad work in this matchup, but Shine leads into so much. Just, it's just wave Shine, up smash, right. uh, wave Shine there, Shine grab. It's a just lot such, of such a strong tool. Yeah. But, um... But hey, she can she can edge guard. Yeah, no, she can she can do that. Oh, oh, that's but back on. JF drops edge guard. Doesn't think that Mojo's high enough to make it back. I th uh, well, well, what should have been the next step in the edge guard? Maybe he should have back Drop back air. Drop back air. Yeah. Okay. He might have trade, but he, he's at the percent where he would have uh, been able to regrab ledge. Right. Let's see, but earlier today, actually, uh, EWD, a local sheik, used to be top ten. Uh, hasn't played in a while though. He actually took Mojo to last stock and second two stocks. Like, yeah, that's, like, uh, that's I respectable. Still, I don't know if uh, Mojo's that proficient in the matchup. I know he's being like June bucks and the likes of him. Right. But in in today's like this exact set, I don't know how he's going to be playing in the set. Oh, I like that up air though. Yeah, that up air says was, for a lot. Wasn't able to follow up off of it a lot, but good yeah. damage. Either way. Nice power shield rolls on out of there. Burning shine there, nice. Ooh. Yeah. Messes up a little bit of tech. It looks like the way that Mojo's playing this matchup is he's not going for the biggest combos. He's just trying to bully uh, Jay off, off, Jeff off the stage. Right. Force him to up B and then punish him from there. And I mean, in in a sense, that kind of is how you deal with Sheik. You know, her recovery is it's, it's not the greatest. It's exploitable. You know. Yeah. Definitely get her off the stage and just let her land and just hit her a lot. Yeah. Oh, 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 this combo is yeah. pretty sick. Wait. I thought that down tilt was going to hit. I thought it was too. Mojo probably thought it was. JF probably thought it was. But JF took the stock, so. Yeah, he's, he's happy. JF. Yeah. I feel like anytime you don't get four stock on the stream setup, you're happy. No, that, I don't I don't think he would get four stock. I, I don't see Mojo four stocking him. But whenever you're like at kill percent and you still don't take the stock, it's still it's scary sometimes. Right, no. There's yeah. so many things that affects your play in tournament that you wouldn't think about like in friendlies like oh i got fourth doctor in friendly who cares but when you're on stream and you're at that much of a deficit it's just so nerve-wracking yeah it's something that's on stream that matters like you don't care that people are watching it it's just like well crap i have to go home and watch this set later. yeah yeah it'll be a reminder permanent reminder on the internet that's, it'll be that's, there that's every day yep that's it yeah jf okay i think the biggest issue from jf that game he got over one play tech skill, which, you know, it's understandable. It's Mojo. Right. But he didn't get any grabs. I think I can count on one hand how many grabs he got. That That's true. Yeah. Do you feel like it's because he is... Do you feel like Mojo is just not allowing him to? Or do you think it's something that, that GF, JF is not, like, looking for enough? It mix of the two. I think uh, Mojo's pressure is good enough to where, like, he's not going to get shield grab easily. Ooh. Like, right there, he got all that off of a grab. Like, he's got a simple, like, back throw and then just set up for the edge guard. But like, like it's already an adjustment. Like Ooh. he did the dash back grab right there. But 
Mojo is already taking that stock. Yeah, Mojo, that was, a, that was a clean edge guard. Run off and do the shine just at the edge, just in case he drops a ledge and just jump up back air. Covers covers a lot of options. Did you see the SD on, uh, on JF uh, from like the dare? He has to hit it so far away. It's like two hits. But... That's that's honestly a really important thing to do in this matchup. You yeah. know, Fox's drill, it, it can set up for so much. It's it's important to get on out of there while you can. Yeah, like the two biggest things in this matchup are crouch canceling and SDI. Ooh, that's rough. Like both these characters get a lot off of uh, crouch cancels. Mm -hmm. Like Fox Ooh, these are these are some good footsies right now, just barely outside of each other's range. Yeah. See, yeah, they both gave each other respect right there. <laughs> that stretches the wrong way. <laughs> okay, Mojo. Oh, good short. Yeah. He, he needed that into tournament winner though. That's that's unfortunate. Yeah, but I mean, JF doesn't really have the best punish on it. Like JF, he started the punish, but then he almost got edge guarded himself. Oh, missing up. I think that's the second time this set he's uh, messed up. Like shine, shine, Firefox stall at the ledge. Yeah, yeah, because he did, he did earlier like on the stage. Yeah. He lost his stock. He, he converted off of that, right? Like that was all off that one mess up. That was a that was a good good edge guard by JF though, calling out the the high Firefox at the back air. Yeah. Okay, again, like, JF gets a grab, but this time he doesn't really convert that much. He gets a down throw and just needles. At the same time, though, you know, Uncle Mojo, these these shines are just keeping Sheik away from him. You know, keeping, you know, keep your dirty hands off me. I got a reflector. Yeah, and no. it's working. Yeah, no. They're, like, right there. Mojo's punching a lot more and, like, just, and he's also hitting all of his tech chases, like, like, right there. Yeah, he see, got yeah. the read. Mojo, earlier, like, he missed the read, but he still got the follow-up with, like, a dash attack on the platform. JF's not really going for his follow-ups. I think it could be a little bit of just nerves, perhaps. Yeah, like I, possibly, I could have been wrong, and he might have not taken a set yet. And it's very likely that JF could. JF's definitely a strong enough player. Yeah, he definitely. Uh, almost looks a little bit right now like he's he's yeah. struggling. He's he's feeling the nerves. Yeah, so like, he jumps into the shine. But what but what are you gonna do? That's Fox. Yeah. I mean, like he'll go out there. At the end, uh, Mojo just did this really high nair, and like it wasn't safe at all. And JF just sat there and took it. He, yeah, he, he looks. It. He looks a little flustered. Yeah, he and, you looks. know, we've all been there. That's that's melee. You know, you're not yeah. playing your best, and you're thinking, "Oh, I'm messing all this up." But that, I mean, hey, that's melee. You got to be able to recover from those kind of mindsets. Yeah, and honestly, like, I've seen JF play at plenty of tournaments. I don't think that that's really just him being demoralized right now. That's just kind of how he feels whenever he plays melee. Like, okay. he enjoys the game. It's like he's very like. He shows his emotions. Right, yeah. Like, it's not like he's, like, super demoralized right now. Just, I he, think he gets he down just, on himself really hard. Yeah. Ooh, like, that Nair trade right there. Like, Nair for an up smash. Not really the best trade. Mojo, on the other hand, like, he's trying to cover all these options. Look, see that SDR right there? Yeah. Like, oh. he got hit once, and he SDR'd it so far away. Ooh, Ooh good clean, fair. Cleans up the stock. And see, that, that caught a whole edge guard sequence from the left to the right. It did start off a grab, so... Did you see that? That was like the uh, How Fast is Melee video, like that shine onto the platform. Oh, yeah. Tomahawk yeah. grab. Mojo's moving. Oh, he's not, he's fishing for that smash a little bit. Oh, forward smash. A down smash maybe? Maybe know. maybe he tried to forward tilt. Uh, that would be my guess. Oh yeah, forward tilt. Definitely should have been forward tilt. All right, what, what do you do? You got Fox in the corner. Oh, just land on stage to spot dodge. What an option. Catches him out. Oh, nice needle. needle. No edge guard though. Oh no, just just barely misses. And that's the, you know you, you can't drop those against the fox of Mojo's caliber. Yeah. You know you need those. Yeah. JF he almost got that tech on that back there. Like it, it looked like he SDI. I mean the frame dropped on the CRT or on the monitor that we're using, but like it looked like he tried to SDI it in tech. His dash chance has picked up a little bit this game. Like right there. Like okay. Good. JF's picking it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. He's. he's Nice down smash. Can you get the edge guard? He doesn't. Ooh. Drops it a little bit. Bear into the edge cancel bear. Yeah, now Uncle Mojo he's picked up back the yes. he's picked back up the pressure. It looks like JF he he gets going and he, you know he he kinda starts moving and then when one thing kinda doesn't work out the way he wants it to, he just kinda slows right back down. Yeah, and like, it's it's just such a battle with momentum right now. That'll take the stock though. Yeah. Also like Mojo's just playing so much faster than JF is. Uh oh. Mojo's just fast. Yeah. He's, a, he's fast fox. Oh, that was a nice bait. Beat him into roll and just came out with that bear. Nice. Didn't get much off of it, but the idea's there. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. That's, so unfortunate. Yeah, you don't want to see don't want to see somebody go out like that. But uh, that's melee. The clean stuff from Mojo. Definitely, yeah. definitely controlled the pace of the match, I'd say. 